hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm here with an update for my pan those eyeshadows so you all know how this goes by now so i'm just going to jump into the first palette and the first palette we have is this one right here which is from colourpop and this is the sweet talk palette so the shade that i've been working on in this one is called catch me and i'm going to insert the picture where i was last time so this has been in for two updates i believe so this is the third month i've been working on it and this is where i am today so hopefully you can see I finally managed to pan, which is really exciting because this is a really, really hardly pressed eyeshadow. Um, I'm really happy to finally have pan on this and I'm happy to roll another eyeshadow out. So with this palette, you all probably know, because I mentioned this in the last two updates as well, I mainly use this as a kind of first transition shade because it is slightly too dark for me to use as a setting kind of shade uh, because yeah, it, it does show up a little bit darker than my skin tone. But I've been loving using this as a first transition, so kind of putting this down and then helping my regular transition shade to blend. And um, I'm really, really loving that, and I think I'm going to start doing that with more shadows as well. But this has been something that's been working really, really well for me. But this is the first palette that I'm rolling out of the project, so I'm going to show you the next shade. So next palette up has been in here for two months, so this is the second update I have it in. And this one is my uh, Colourpop Yes Please palette. And the shade that I'll be working on is called Mischief. So I'm going to insert the picture where I was the last update. And as you can see, that is where I am today. So hopefully you can see that I have a big pan in this palette. And I'm so excited because I really didn't think that I would manage to pan on this before this update. But I actually pan on this yesterday when I used the shadow. And I was so happy because I knew that I was so, so close. But... I just thought that I wouldn't really quite get there before um, this update, but I'm really excited to have hit pan on this so that I can roll in another shade. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm kind of happy to have this shadow out in general because I've been wearing so many yellow toned looks that I'm just tired of it. And if I get another gel yellow, I don't know what I will do because I think I'll be going through like most of my yellows, uh, which is quite intense. But anyway, this is the shadow that I've been working on for the last two months and I'm really really happy to actually been like panning this and as you will be able to see in the photos that I have put in the end of this video you can see that I had um, quite a few yellow toned eyeshadow looks um, simply because I wanted to be able to hit pan on this and since I rolled in the three remaining shades last update I knew that this was going to be the kind of best chance I had to pan on a second shade so that's why I will focus on this one and I did manage to hit pan on it yesterday which is so good and I will be rolling in a shade to replace this as well at the end. So as I said, the remaining three palettes have been in here the same amount of time. Let's just start with the one that is on top currently, which is my Colourpop Mar palette. And I've had a shade in this before, but the shade that I'm working on currently is called Sorbet. So Sorbet was basically untouched when I first put it in. So I'm going to insert the picture where I was last time. And this is where I am today. So as you can see, I have quite a decent dip in there. I don't have pan yet. And as you can see, that's the... Um, shadow that I had in before but that is where I am so I've definitely been using this quite a lot I wore this most days to be honest um I think I used it was a handful of times when I didn't use it but yeah um, I really really quite enjoy this shade I've been using it tons together with the yellow to kind of tone it down a bit because mixing the yellow and the brown makes it more of a mustardy shade rather than a really bright yellow which has been helping me to wear it kind of on an everyday basis but yeah that is the shade it's a beautiful kind of transition shade I will swatch this in a minute so you can see it because this will be staying in the um, in the rotation but this shade is kind of it's, it is rosy, but it's also very warm, so I feel like it goes with both cool tones and warm tones look, which has been helping a lot, because I am planning a purple as well. I am actually wearing this today as my crease shadow, and I think it looks really, really nice with this purple, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and yeah, I've been using this tons, and I think this was kind of the perfect transition shade to add in last uh, update. And I definitely I hope to have pan on this by the finale next month. And as I said, there we have it swatched, you can see what it looks like on my hand. The next palette I have is another one from Colourpop, actually all of the ones that I have are from Colourpop. And this one is it's My Pleasure palette, and the shade that I've been working on is called Sleeper. So this shade I think I used once before I put it in the project, so I'm going to insert where I was when I first started. And this is where I am today. 
So I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but I do have a little bit of a dip building in this shade. And it is the one that I'm wearing on the outer corner of my eyes today. And I've quite been enjoying this shade and it's quite beautiful. I was scared that it was going to be too dark to use, but it actually shows up as a really nice kind of purple on the eye still. And I was worrying it was going to be more kind of black base, but it's not at all. Um, I really, really like this shade and I have been using it quite a bit. And um, I was scared that it wouldn't kind of fit into the rest of the color scheme, but I've been surprised that it's been working better than I thought it would. And I actually paired this with a yellow a few times, which I found quite nice. Um, it was a bit too much for every day though, but for the weekends, I definitely try that out. So um, yeah, I do have a little bit of a dip on it. I'm not sure I'll be able to hit pan on it by next update. I'm really going to try it too, but I think it depends on what I roll in as well as how much I've been feeling this purpley shade now around Christmas time. And there you can see Sleeper swatched out on my hand next to Sorbet. And the last palette that I have in is the Through My Eyes palette again from Colourpop and the shade that I've been working on is called Euphoric although I have had this palette in for quite a few times it's nothing new for this project but yeah the one I've been working on this time is Euphoric so I'm going to insert the picture of where I was last time uh, and this one was also the one that I put in last update and this as you can see is where I am today so you can see that I have a bit of a dip in it Um, it actually is going faster than I thought because I haven't used this too many times because I've been using so many warm tones that I was just tired of this shade. Um, I definitely think I will be using this way more now when I don't have the yellow. Because I feel like when I used the yellow and the orange together it was quite overwhelming. Um, but I think I will be able to kind of use the small bit browns and stuff um, now when the yellow is out. So um, yeah, that is it. Currently I'm not sure that I will be able to hit pan. But I'm going to try to for next update. So now for the exciting part. Let's go ahead and randomize some new shades. So... I still have the same amount of shadows as I did last time, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in 1 to 370. So let's roll two shades. The first one will be number 330. So number 330 is one of my lo loose kind of single shadows and the one that I got is my pale wet and wild shade, which is referring to this one right here. So as you can see that is where I am now, I haven't really used it much and that will be the shade that I'm going to focus on. So there we have that one, I think it's going to be perfect as an in the corner highlight. And then the second shade will be number 348. So 348 is one of my super shock shadows in the shade Sailor and as if you if you follow my uh, red pan collab you know that I already have pan on that one. So I'm going to roll again. And it's 322. So number 332 is actually another one from my loose palette. So this is the same one. And it's actually the one two steps below. So it's this one right here, which is my Wet n Wild kind of pale taupey green. Um, and yeah, that is going to be the last shade. So there we have my color palette now. I think it's very fall appropriate. And I'm really happy to have gotten two shimmers. Because yeah, um, I was kind of tired of panning mattes. I think this green will actually go quite nice. Both with the purple and the orange. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I think it's quite a cohesive color palette. And I'm really, really excited to have rolled those two shades in. So these are now the four palettes that I'm working on since I have two in my C palette. So yeah, uh, before we finish this video, let's just move on to some of the looks that I've been wearing for the last uh, month. So the first look that we have right here is a purple look that I made that I'm really, really happy with. Um, I made it quite smoky and I think I used the um, It's My Pleasure palette for all of this. Um, I really, really enjoy how this turned out. Um, I used, oh actually I remember I used Sorbet in the crease and I used the sleeper shade in the other corner and I used the shade, let me find it, in the It's My Pleasure palette. I used the shade Mr. Sandman all over my lid, which I quite like. Um, I actually really like that shade, it's one of my favourites. Um, so that's this look, I really, really love it. I think it was very kind of fall appropriate and I love pairing it with a dark lip. Um, yeah, I just love how this turned out. The second look is very much on the other side of the spectrum. I'm wearing kind of yellow and oranges and again I'm wearing Sorbet in the crease to kind of tone down the or uh, yellow and then I'm pairing it with the Mischief shade from Colourpop, the yellow one, and also the orange Euphoric from Euphoria, Euphoric, can't remember now, from uh, Through My Eyes in the outer corners. And I did pair this with Colourpop Sailor um, all over my lid. 
for the next look that I have is the one that I mentioned that I used when I paired the purple and the yellow together. One of my subscribers actually suggested this that I had to try it out and it actually turned out way better than I thought it would. I basically just used, again, sorbet just in the crease to kind of smooth it all out. And then I used the purple on the inner and outer corner and then the yellow on the lid. And I think it looks really, really cool and unique and yeah, I really like how this turned out. And then the last look that we have is kind of similar to the first one actually. This is one of this is actually my birthday look. I wore this on my birthday. Um and I'm wearing the purple sleeper and the outer corner. Again, I'm wearing I'm wearing sorbet all over my um crease. On the lid, I used another shade from my It's My Pleasure palette and I used actually I think a mix of Earth Shake and Mr. Salmon and I topped that with a glitter from Stila. I think it's actually this one right here which is in the shade Diamond Dust. So those were the four looks that I did for the last month um, and I think that's gonna be the end of this video. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you're new here please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Um, and other than that I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!